One of your human rights is violated every day by thousands of companies and organizations. Hello, I'm Raven Stahl and I'm 15 years old. I'm participating in the EF Challenge 2020 from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Today, I would like to talk to you about the global issue that I'm most passionate about solving. This issue is a threat that is growing and growing while most of us do not even know about the existence of it. Even though we are exposed to it every day, the global issue that I am most passionate about solving is abuse of the internet. The internet is one of the greatest inventions of mankind and great things are being done with it. From strengthening relations, to uniting people worldwide, to raising huge amounts of money for crises. Unfortunately, not all of its applications are used for the greater good, leading to abuse of the internet. Now I hear you think, what is abuse of the internet? Abuse of the internet is a collective phrase for basically everything that makes the internet unsafe. Since this is a broad concept, I would like to focus on two specific aspects, privacy violation and fake news. I think that these two aspects are the greatest threats to our society. Online issues might seem insignificant, but you have to keep in mind that people nowadays have a huge online presence. Globally, we spend an average of 6 hours and 42 minutes a day on the internet. Teenagers even spend 8 hours and 58 minutes online a day. This is more time than most of us spend in school, considering that we are always online, even on weekends and holidays. A quick calculation shows that we spend more than a quarter of our lives online, which is an extraordinarily huge amount of time. Don't you think that a place where we spend so much time should be safe, no matter what? I do, and for that reason I believe that the issue of abuse of the internet should have worldwide attention. One of the greatest threats to this desired online safety is privacy violation. Article 12 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, no one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his or her privacy. This right is being violated online every single day. Did you know that online trackers save everything you do on the internet and make this into a profile about you? Their business model is to sell you. Okay, maybe not literally you, but every single thing they know about you, which is a lot. It is for a reason that the age we live in now is called the big information age. Imagine going to the doctor for a private health concern, or getting rejected by your secret crush, and having everybody know about it the next day. That would be terrible, right? Online trackers save information like this, and who knows who they'll sell it to. Another big issue on the internet right now is how our opinions are being influenced. The internet has a lot of power since anybody can post anything. Everybody being able to share what they want is one of the core values of the internet, but there's a dark side to it too. Companies and some say even governments are misusing this power to spread fake news. This can have a lot of purposes from boosting sales to influencing one's political opinion. Crucial matters like these are already happening globally, all over the internet, and I do not think we're talking about it enough. Imagine how threats like these could develop in the future. Our lives could be controlled by the misuse of personal information, and our opinions could be formed by fake news. Finding a simple, one-size-fits-all solution for this problem will be very hard. However, that does not mean there isn't one. I think the solution could consist of two things. First and foremost, laws. Governments should look at the matter critically and should get clear laws regarding the internet. These laws should make the internet a safer place while remaining an uncensored medium where one can express their opinion. I propose banning the storage of private data for financial gain. Furthermore, I propose a fake news elimination task force supervised by the UN. Secondly, education. Nelson Mandela once famously said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world, which I feel definitely applies here. Even when these laws are implemented, everybody should be educated on how to use the internet safely and how to distinguish fake news from real. Making this become a reality will be very hard, but I believe together we can do it.